Today, we reached the nether, and we talk about some quality of life upgrades. That's right, the nether. Welcome, friends, to a new episode of Age of Engineering. <clears throat> I'm Clobberstop. Hope you guys are having a great day. I've got some sweet beat root here beat root <laughs> all right friends um i've been out of the game for a little while um i've had a heck of a week uh we had uh at my job being that i'm a network engineer we had a, a really bad uh infection spread and it got through our data center and all kinds of things and caused all kinds of havoc um so i haven't been in the game very much so i uh, let's do this as a kind of a let's get started um, and caught up type of situation. Um, let's see what uh, Thelona is doing. Oh, he's got, oh, look at those limestone. We've got some granite floors. Big ball. Of, what are these? Oh, small dirt bricks. I like those. Those are very cool. I might have to do some modeling after him. These are great ideas. And this looks really nice. I like this. This is looking good. So he's doing, whoa, he's getting started. He's got a big key there. Can unlock his chest and things like that. Very cool. So he's been he's been in playing, uh, banging it out, doing some things. Let's see what else has been done. Um, I believe in the last episode we got a Coke oven going. And it looks like Thelona had got another one going so we could improve and increase our... Uh, coke and creosote uh, production because the next steps are trying to get ourselves steel. Oh, check this out. Hey, watch it, bees. Um, we It looks like he's gotten some of these going. That's great. Um, awesome. So we've got a enchanting table. That's fantastic. Um, I, I did go find a few trees. Um, I went on a rampage and went looking for the different types of trees. So I found some dark oak i found some spruce and uh, we got a mining world going and i got a uh and nether portal sorry i was swallowing uh a, a nether portal going but i could not make flint and steel in my travels i found some cool things i found like these dark boots and i found the ender which is cool so we got some nicer equipment here um, but the real main thing was to go find some of this stuff which are these rubber wood trees so we can get ourselves some rubber for making IC2 machines and things like that because I think that's what's needed for steel. Whoa, 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 look at this. Okay, so Thelona has been busy. Wow, okay, so what do we have? We've got a compressor. Uh, we've got a blast, two blast furnaces. Okay, so we've got rich slag. We have the ability to... Uh, make some iron into steel. So we're making steel. So he made it to the point where we can make steel. So that's great news. Um, we've got a metal former, uh, two metal formers. Uh, we have a macerator. It looks like he's kind of doubled up on everything. Electric furnace, electric furnace. And then it looks like he's got a generator, which... Oh, and some solar arrays as well. What do we have here? And we've got a bat box. So... We have the ability to make solid fuel into power and then we're getting some low voltage as well. So we've made it to steel. So I'm gonna steal one of these. All right, I'm gonna take them all, sorry man. Uh, <laughs> but let's, you know, I, you know what? I think it's a good idea to um, set the portal because we can. Um, so he got steel, I'm guessing that um, he he left that for me to do on on camera here so let's get that going so now we can open that up which is great we need to find ourselves a piece of flint here we go okay so if we do this and this and then put the steel here we now have a flint and steel fantastic so let's fire this up and we can get ourselves into the nether or have the ability i don't know if we're going to go in there that seems like a Maybe not a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. We should see. Um, I do want to put this away. And then, you know what? We're going to go check it out. We're going to check out the nether. Why not? Um, I feel like we are okay. We're somewhat prepared. 
Um, not super prepared, but <laughs> we've got some things going on. But um, no pain, no gain, right? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, there was something from Tinkers. Let's see. Um, at Tinkers, there was, what do you call it? I can't remember. Huzzah! Item rack. So let's get one of these. Okay, we need some slabs, double slab action. So let's get two of these. And what I want to do is make, whoops, no, there we go, an item rack. So we'll put that here and then we can put our flint and steel on it. So if Thelona ever needs that, he can use that too. So, um, and then you know what? I think we want to make another one because I also have a bucket. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's do this. Bam. Uh, we can't do that. We need to do it here. So let's go zoom and get some of those. And then we'll go bam, bam. And we'll do this and put that there. Oh, and that's going to bother me. Womp, womp. Not good. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get some oak. I don't like you. What? It really doesn't like that? It's This is an axe. That's weird. Okay, so I guess it likes this. Okay. Well, whatever. You guys get the idea. Here we go. So let's do this and this. Let's do this. Bam. Bam, bam. And let's put that guy up there. Uh, we'll use this as storage too. I'm running out of storage. We need to solve that kind of problem. But um, And I have a bucket as well. Oh, that's fine. We've got creosote. I'll have to find a tank or something to put that stuff in. And then I've got a clay bucket of lava still. Okay, we've got some things. I think we're ready. Should we go do it? Let's go do this um, and see what the nether's all about. Um, yeah, I know nether in the fourth or fifth episode. I can't remember which one this is. Um, I'll have to number it afterwards, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. This could be bad news. I don't know. Um, this might be good or bad. What? Are you serious? We are right. What? I've never had that happen. I've had it very close, but never inside of a dungeon. Um, oh, void crystals. Sweet. Yeah, let's grab that. Um, thanks. Don't mind if I do. Uh, cool. So this got exponentially harder, I think, uh, because this is, okay. All right. All right. That's there. Uh, uh, okay. And we can go down there. Oh, some mushrooms. Let's get those. So now we have to just figure out how to get out to the nether because <laughs> we're in the middle of the portal. So what we should probably do is let's open up journey map and let's create a waypoint nether exit. Um, that's going to be super dark red because that's how we roll. Um, so we know where that is. We can try to find this again. We don't want to get lost. Um, up or down, up or down. Let's go up. Oh, we can make soup now. All right. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, I hear him. Let's see what we got here. Oh, let's, let's do some, let's make sure we can regenerate our health. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. What is this? What are you? Cobalt. We can get cobalt. We can get cobalt. Okay. Well, we have the ability to improve our tools right out of the gate. So that's very cool. Um, it does look like there's plenty of cobalt around. So we could probably improve these. I didn't think that we were going to get to the nether this quickly. Um, being that this is a progressive type of pack. Um, but there we go. We've got some cobalt. So we should be able to gather as much of that as we can find. Is that Ardite? And we have Ardite straight away. Oh, dang. So now we can make manulinium. Uh, unless it's changed. Uh, it's quite possible that there could be some differences um, with what we need. So let's see. I don't want to get too far off the beaten path here. So we have the ability to get into the nether that way. Can we just go straight? Yeah. Oh. Hey, buddy. Bro. 
Oh, that's a pigman. Okay, you're fine. You don't attack. You you got some pretty hefty gear there, man. Not good. Oh, since we're here, we might as well pick up the goods. Get the goods, right? Okay, and then this will take us up. I'm nervous. Ugh. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, I like this. All right, we, so, excellent. Uh, we have a place to get out. Um, we have the ability to get other quartz or other ores and things like that. So this was successful. I haven't seen any real bad dudes, uh, which is great. Uh, makes our life just a little bit easier. Let's go grab this cobalt since we're here. I really don't know what any of this stuff is used for. This shell... Phalerite? Phalerite. Um, uses. Make tiny... Oh, we can industrial electrolyze this. Make zinc and sulfur. That makes sense. Okay. Let's pick up these tasty goods here. Because this stuff's important. Um, I don't know what sort of progression will occur or what we'll need this stuff for. Um, I know what, you know, what it's needed for in the normal pack of things, but um, we may or may not be able to have the ability to use it right out of the gate based on the progress, you know, the progression of the pack. So we'll figure that out as we kind of move forward here. But we might as well gather it up as we can. So we're getting some really good stuff here. I thought I saw some stuff over here. There it is. Perfect. So it must be nighttime because of the music. <laughs> All right. I, I still am kind of baffled that um, we spawned right into a fortress. I, I've never done that. Have you guys had that happen before? Um, like, I've had them really close, but um, never right in the fortress like that. That is a new thing for me. Um, man, could you imagine getting was spawning one like right next to like a blaze uh, spawner or whatever? Oh, jeez. Scary. Okay, let's get up here. We're just doing a little bit of exploring, gathering as much of these resources that we can. Uh, they seem to be fairly abundant, which is nice. Um, in previous packs, um, Ardite and Cobalt were quite elusive and difficult to find, but here, it doesn't really seem to be too, too hard. Um, look at all this Cobalt. We got all this stuff. This is a nice little area. So that's nice. Um, I'm thinking that we go explore some of that fortress and get ourselves. Let's get into some. Let's get into some mischief. Let's go see if we can find something to smash, like a blaze. Get some blaze rods straight away. Episode four or five, whatever we're at. There's one. All right. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. What do we all have here? I'm nervous. Oh, there he is. There's the spawner. Jeez. Jeez. Um, I don't know. I don't know how best to attack this because I feel like... All right, all right, all right, all right. Ouch! Oh, this is so bad. Oh, jeez! Did we get, we didn't even get one. Run, 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 run away. All right, so. <laughs> 
Oh man, scary stuff, yo. Um, not bad though. So this is pretty good. Um, let's do right to return. Oh geez. All right. This is so we came in here. You know, I like to put. As you leave, you put stuff on the left. Oh, there we go. Cool. So there's a nice little exit there. Right. You know, you put these on the right side, and then it's right to return to where you needed to go. Oh, hey, buddy. You want to get smashed? Bruh. Oh, my goodness. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Oh, ho, 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 man. That was close. I cannot believe that there are wither skeletons right there. That was not awesome. If we would have got withered, I'm fairly confident we would have died. I, I feel as though that's a thing. So let's do this. Let's see what we have in the mix here because I see all kinds of stuff. Molten obsidian, we've got blood, copper, and lava. So I think we can put our Ardite and Cobalt in there and make some Manulinium. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think while we're waiting, let's go give it a nice sleep. Looks really nice. Ah, we got another tree that grew up over there. Very good. Cool. Okay, here we go. What's that guy there? Oh, a zombie that's got all kinds of armor. Nice, nice. Okay, it's still going. There we go, that finished up. We've got Ardite. And... Cobalt should finish here. There it goes. Molten Manulinium. Look at that. Beautiful. So we can start making manulinium tools, which is fantastic. Um, let's see if we can start collecting some of this rubber. Um, I believe we can make ourselves a tree tap and get that going. So we can start collecting some resources. So it looks like Thelona got some quality of life things taken care of for us. So we essentially, if we look at the guide here and click on Age of Engineering, I'm pretty sure we're kind of in the industrial age at this point because we have made, we had our, we have the ability to make coke ovens and get creosote and we can make ingots and we can actually make steel and we got into the nether. So I feel like we're here. I think we have to make whatever that is. I think that's a forge hammer. Um, so let's take a look. We have some of these guys. So let's do this. If I remember correctly, it's like this. Oh, over here? No, maybe it's like this. There it is, tree tap. Okay, so we can, now we can go get ourselves some rubber or well, resin in which we can turn into rubber. So there we go, sticky situation. We did it. They make really funny noises. It's so, I like it. <laughs> but we found a whole bunch of these trees. So uh, Thelona and I went running around and we found some and we just brought them all back here and um, did everything that we could. Perfect. So now we have the ability to get a whole bunch of sticky resin. And that ran out really quick. Okay. Let's make a few more. We got 21 of them already, so that's cool. All right, let's do that. We've got two more of these, and let's use these up and get as many as we can here. We'll need plenty of this rubber. Um, I'll use the community machines, of course, but um, I do want to make my own. But uh, so, Thelona and I are kind of 
team working it here so we'll use each other's stuff he's you know he can use the smeltery and i can use the machines and we'll kind of help each other progress uh, we're not in any hurry so we just know it's nice to kind of get to the point where you can have some machines so he went ahead and got that kind of going and we'll kind of dovetail off of what he's doing together and we'll kind of teamwork it right so this will be good and wow we've got so many I'm glad we went and found all these trees we went exploring for a while and um, or I did and then I think he did you know while I was doing other things so this kind of worked out all right plenty of resin so we should be able to get this all cooking if we do this and go bam there we go and bam perfect okay we're now making rubber uh, these solar panels will keep this thing full it looks like so I don't think we can really process that quickly and it looks like as long as it's light out we're not really using too much or utilizing too much power so that's good um, great news okay um, let's go see if we can make it to the industrial age by making I believe it's called the forge hammer or the metal hammer I can't remember um, let's type in hammer and see what we find this guy the forge hammer so we need treated sticks and iron. How do we make treated sticks? Treated wood. How do we make treated sticks? Treated wood planks. Not quite sure how we make treated wood planks. So, treated. We don't need a machine for that, do we? Oh, creosote. Okay, here we go. Creosote, oil bucket, and spruce planks. Does it have to be spruce? We have creosote. No, it can be any wood. Okay, perfect. So if we do this, and then go wham, and then do this, treated wood. Awesome. And then we can make treated sticks and then we can make a hammer it's hammer time right beautiful um, uh, five I believe this will now boom we did it age one we've made it to the industrial age yo sweet um, I'm not really sure what this thing does or its use uses Ah, uh, here we go. So it help. Ah, I see. It helps making some of these things. Turning copper castings. Um, apparently, you can enchant this thing. All right. So let's read more of the guide here and see what we're in for. So there's some things that we have to do, or look at. Um, early game solid power options. Besides, so we were just talking about um, extractor, and then the uh, sticky resin and rubber. So we're already making rubber. Early game solid power options besides the normal generator are solar panels, wind turbines, and later semi-fluid generators. Um, and we can run canola oil. Okay, cool. So we have blast furnaces, so he's already done that. Uh, it needs heat, not EU. So you need to craft an electric heater filled with at least one coil. Okay, so let's go see, let's go see what he what he's kind of come up with over here. He's got a setup. And let's see if we are squared away. Otherwise, we might be able to work towards some other things. So, metal former, macerator, electric furnace, extractor, blast furnace, and compressors. So we don't... Oh, here we go. Heat. This is what it, it works on. Heat, and it works on fluid. So do you have to put... Let's read this. Do we have to put... Um, things in there so it works on okay we need you can craft an electric heater filled with at least one coil to convert EU to heat the wrench is your friend try connecting to the orange dots oh there we go 
okay, so he's already done this. Um, we've got an electric heater there, and he's got it fully populated with coils. Excellent. So I see. So you have to heat the coils, and the coils, yeah, it generates 100 uh, heat units. I'm guessing that's what that means. And this will take your heat units and do blast furnacey things to make steel, I'm guessing. So if we put in crushed ore or iron, oh, it just goes and does its thing. Are, is this actually running and making steel right now? Or does it require some other thing? So let's take a look at steel and see what actually had to be done here. Steel. Um, steel ingots. That's not the steel that we're looking for. Is this the steel we're looking for? An electric arc furnace. Interesting. Okay. That's something different we might have to take a look at. Dark steel, steel, steel ingot. This steel right here. Here we go. Blast furnace. So it just requires heat. I guess it just works over time. No fluid type not available. Can I take that out? Will you continue to work? Okay. I guess you just put a piece of iron in there and it eventually does its thing. Don't know how long it takes or whatnot, but... All right. A redstone signal inverter upgrade, ejector up... Oh, so those are all the upgrades it can have. We don't have any of those. I wonder, is there a way that you need to turn this on? Or is it just doing its thing and we just have to wait and eventually it makes steel? I'm not quite sure. Maybe the guide will tell us. Let's read more. All right. Next on your list uh, is making a blast furnace. You need It needs heat, not EU. So you need to craft an electric heater filled with at least one coil to convert EU to heat. And a wrench is your friend when trying to connect the orange dot of the machines to the blast furnace. Uh, the blast furnace also needs universal fluid cells filled with air you can get from a compressor. Oh, so if we look at the compressor, ah, here we go. So do we do this? There it goes. I see. Gotcha. Okay, beautiful. And let's take this and put these in here. And now we're making steel. Okay, I've got it. I, I feel like we've got it figured out. All right, so we have figured out how to make steel. And um, this is quite a lengthy process, it seems. So you can put eight buckets of um, compressed air. So can we, do we just do this? Ah, awesome. So we can rinse and repeat these. You want to go. This is a mistake, bro. Wham. Drop some nice armor. Dang it. Not so much. I heard a witch. Did you hear a witch? <laughs> I heard a la I heard a laughing witch. Jerk. All right, so this takes time. It takes time to heat the blast furnace with compressed air to turn this into steel. But what a cool process. I like that. This is awesome. Real steel, baby. Nice job. Thelona is killing it. And he went through all of these things to get us going. So this is fantastic work. So kudos to him and for us to have some quality of life upgrades. Yay to him. And it looks like he filled these up with a whole bunch of lava. So he found a source. Um, we obviously can start doing more things with steel and whatnot. So, all right, friends, I hope you... Uh, enjoyed this episode. This was a lot of fun. We got a lot of things done. So we got the nether going. Uh, we have some quality of life upgrades. I'm excited to continue on. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and be well.